Manifesto fam, welcome back to another video here today. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you guys how the Lord made a way for us into the next house because this was wild. I don't know if you remember, like a month ago when I released the first video from this year. I'm actually moving out of this house. So what you see here, I won't be here within a few weeks. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what Jesus brings up. I don't know where I'm moving yet, uh, but hey, why, why, why not take you guys along the journey? I'm excited to show you guys the new place because God's been promising us and, and just transitioning us. So I told you guys, we're moving out of the house and we didn't know, we don't know, we didn't know where God was taking us yet. And so we're on this wild adventure with God just to believe God for the next house, the next property that we were to inhabit with the glory of God. And um, yeah, the Lord came through. I mean, of course God came through, um, but it's always the, the process that like, is the most interesting part of like seeing God do it, you know? And, and so the process was, you know, like, like anything of faith, it's always a risk. It was, always, it was, um, just, it just had that like adventurous risk taste to it. Although for sure it was a little scary, you know, this is just like one thing I knew. And this one, one thing I want to teach you guys that I had this conviction just like in my heart, you know, as you guys know, if you don't know, you know, we I, like a lot of my ministry involves like house, you know, like the home being the base of ministry. So like, you know, we do house church, we do house discipleship schools, soul schools. Um, we do, you know, everything's just kind of house centered. And I knew this one thing that the last two houses that I lived in, were just miraculously provided by the Lord. And I knew that this next house would be miraculously provided by the Lord. And um, there was this temptation inside to like, just find a house and rent it and just believe this is, you know, just like, you know, just look on the market. And, and of course I was looking on the market and just putting things out there and just kind of like, maybe this one, maybe that one, right? But there's this conviction inside like, God, if you did it two times before, you're gonna do it a third time. And it, I'm not gonna be trying to replay a former miracle that you did. Like, it has to be a miracle again. Cause you know, sometimes God does a miracle and we're just trying to replay what he did in the past. And it, it just loses the, the savior, of, the, the savior. It loses the savor of the miraculous. And that was like one thing I'm like, no, heck no, heck no, no way. Especially in the field that I know I'm called to pioneer and you know, house church stuff and whatever, you know, like, I'm just like, I'm just gonna protect that area of, of ministry of promise, you know, like you did it before, you're gonna do it again. I'm not gonna go until I know it's you, you know, just so God good, just go before us, do whatever you want. And, um, you know, and, and you know, in the, in the process, it's always funny because, you know, everybody's like, you know, you got people that are believing you in you and praying with you and, you know, it's just standing with you in, in prayer and agreement. And they'll, you know, every, every, uh, every few days you'll, you'll get the question like, so any, any update on the house? And you're like, no, you know, just believe in God, you know, just, and just continuing on in the faith journey of like, God's going to bring it. I don't know how yet but he's gonna do it and you're gonna see. And I'm gonna see because that's the adventure of faith. And so pausing right there to encourage you, if you're in the process of believing for the promise, stand on his word, especially if it's in your area of ministry, because whether you're doing crusades, whether you're doing um, you know, children's ministry, whether you're doing you know, youth group or your pastor or whatever, like, what are you contending for? Where's your area of inheritance? And I know for me, my area of inheritance is homes. And I'm gonna safeguard the miraculous for God to show up and do it his way, you know? So, um, so we're like a week away, literally like a week away from having to move out of the house. Still nothing on the radar. Sure, potential stuff on the radar, we could apply for da da da, da. 
but nothing God was on yet, you know? And so lo and behold, it's a, it's a Wednesday and one of my friends is like, hey, let's hang out. And so they were fasting, you know, we were gonna go out for lunch and they happened to be fasting. They're like, let's go on a walk. I'm like, okay, let's go on a walk. Let's go hang out somewhere. So there's a community in Orlando that um, I've been walking, uh, just like hanging out with Jesus, you know, just spending time with the Lord at, for the last like four years, I would just show up in this community and and walk the streets and it's like in this central part of Orlando, downtown Orlando. So, um, so I'm like, whatever, let's just go. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go to my spot, you know, just go to the spot. Um, so we're, we're walking this, this, this neighborhood that I'm very familiar with, very used to going to. And, um, even just to say like, this is a neighborhood that I've, you know, walked for so many years and it's like, it's mine, you know, like when you go to a place and you walk it enough and claim it enough, like it's yours. And so you kind of feel like you own it, you know? And so lo and behold, we're walking the streets and we're passing by a house that has a for rent sign and the i'm like cool this house for rent oh let me take a picture I took a picture of the sign but the problem was it was not the size we wanted it was like a three bedroom two bathroom which was like a little too small for us because we were looking at least for a four three because we were living in a six four anyways so I'm like, right away, I'm like, nah, that's not the house. It's too small. So continue walking forward. And lo and behold, the owners end up being sitting outside. And I'm like, Shh. and I stop. And I'm like, should I talk to them? And like, it was just like, I passed because I passed by the house. And I were standing in front of the bushes. And I'm like, I stop. And I'm like, do I talk to them? Do I not talk to them? Like, what's the chances of them being outside when I'm walking by, right? It's like, what, what do I have to lose? So I turn around, and I'm like, you guys are the owners? They're like, yeah. I'm like, you guys have this house for rent, right? They're like, yeah. And uh, so we just start talking. And like I said, in my mind, I'm like, I'm like, this, this probably ain't the house. But they started insisting to show us the house. I'm like, okay. You want to show us the house? We'll take a look at the house. But this probably ain't the house because it's way too small. And um, so we see the house, da 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 da, and um, we get outside. Sweet, sweetest couple. They're incredible, amazing. And I uh, start talking. I'm like, so let me tell you what we do. You know, like, hey, we're you know we're a ministry house where we do a lot of gatherings. You know, so if we were, let's just hypothetically say, if we'd get this house, you know, we'd have a lot of cars here. You know, and they're like, yeah, yeah, like. And they started showing us all the parking spaces that we could take up on the street. I'm like, okay, 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 that's fine. Um, so if we were to move in here, we'd have six guys renting from this house. Um, and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, we could turn in the other room into a fourth room and da-da-da. I'm like, okay, okay. Um, so, and so I just kind of start throwing, like, things that would try to turn them away from giving us this house. Uh, we're renting us this house and they're they're kind of like they're just cool. They're just so cool this the amount of favor I felt like just coming from um, The owners I was like, okay, this is strange because usually, you know people want like a single family in a house and kind of you know and uh, I'm like, okay, and anyways, we end the conversation saying hey, I'm gonna pray. I'm a Christian, you know Walk with Jesus I pray about things if God says yes, I do it. If He says no, I don't like I said, this is kind of too small for what we're looking for. But if the Lord really puts it on our hearts, we'll, we'll be in touch. So I leave that conversation and continue walking. And as I'm walking, God just starts like breaking down all my expectations of what this next house should have been or could have been or would have been. And uh, it was crazy. Guys, for like this bomb, like this bomb just like exploded in me of like dreaming with God again. And I was like, no way, holy moly, like, what if this is the house? And, and like, this explosion just went off in me, like, oh my goodness, like, is this the house? What if this is the house? And all of a sudden, God started breaking all my boxes, because, you know, I wanted a big enough house to, like, be ready for the next 
discipleship school that we we're gonna have in the fall and god's like yo like you're too focused on the future like i have an assignment in the present for you to to tackle here in this house i was like okay okay and um i'm like but you know i don't want to get too excited i'm just gonna like all right you got a day god you got like a day or two like just to like really confirm this thing if this is the thing you know and uh like i could probably take another 10 minutes talking about all like the prophetic stuff crazy amazing like alignment with dreams alignment with like a bunch of other stuff that god was saying in the last season um just things that he had spoken in the past things that he was leading us in the future it was it's just just like it just started going off it was just an explosion it was amazing and like this conviction and um even 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 to the point of like you know when like there's dreams in your heart and like you're carrying these dreams and in certain seasons it's like the, it's like sand and water you know like the sand settles you know and then in certain moments like that bottle gets just shaken and all these dreams and promises are just like flying all over the place and you're like whoa i completely forgot like this is what i'm living for like revival like an outpouring of the spirit and i just start dreaming with god about revival in this part of town uh because 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 this part of town is like straight downtown like orlando like this is this the heart of the city this is like where literally people are walking outside and and like riding bicycles and kids are coming home from school and just like the center of the city where there's like actually people doing life and this is one thing i love about the that that neighborhood was just like that's why i took walks there because it was just like life and it was just like you could just it's just the taste of like community you know and so anyways after like uh, the after like two days of just like seeing god confirm one after another uh i was like okay this is this is the, this is the lord and so i give a call and i'm like yo um really feel that i know we said it's too small and this is crazy but like i didn't expect this to be the house but this is the house like this is the thing we're looking for and she's like you won't believe like this is the same thing that the previous people that wanted to rent it said that this was wasn't what they were expecting and they were also a ministry group that wanted to rent this house and they're like she's like they didn't act fast enough i'm like okay i'm hopping on this you know and uh so we set up an appointment for tomorrow and one other crazy thing about the house the, the lord had was speaking about several things about it but just talking about just there was a specific well dug in this house you know it's it was built in 1934 and uh it's an old house but like he was talking about this inheritance, this well that had already been dug there that we were gonna draw and pull from. And one of the stories that the owner told me was that there had been a cancer patient that had been sitting uh, in by this one windowsill that they had taken a picture. In this picture, you could see angels like around this cancer patient and she, got, she ended up getting healed. And I was like, that's so cool. It's so rad, you know, just to know that, you know, the angelic presence of the Lord was already manifested in this house decades ago, you know, it was just, it was just like a cherry on the top, you know, and the fact that like the owners were approving us to come in and like do our thing and host his presence and, and like, they were just all about it. And so we met up the following day. Um, one significant moment, it was so surreal. Like, um, we went back to their house to sign the papers for the lease. And, um, I remember like, her asking like hey would you like a drink of water and it was one of those moments where it was like yes like give me water so that from the bunch of abundance of my heart i could bless you you know like if you give water um in the name of a righteous man you'll receive the righteous man's reward right and so i felt like this crazy abundant like blessing coming from my heart to to theirs and um just hearing and, and this this was one of the elements too like the fact that like it was a family receiving us into their home and into their community was just so significant because this is what Jesus said like when you go into a, a city or a village find the person of peace and if there's peace enter and bless the home and like we literally entered their home and were able to bless it and at the end you know like to hear them saying like welcome to the community we're so excited for what you're gonna be doing here it was just 
significant because it wasn't just like a property management you know it wasn't just a an agency or a business it was family and you know that's that's what I'm all about just family and seeing God like raise up families and anyways it was it was beautiful and so yeah that's how we got the house and there's whole crazy prophetic timeline I won't share on here but like I'm just overwhelmed at the goodness of God and that for each one of our lives he has a story that he's wanting to write out and if we're willing to believe him if we're a if we're willing to even wait to the last minute for God to provide you know we signed the lease you know five days before we had to move out literally you know it was short notice and uh, it was a lot of warfare like guys like it wasn't it wasn't easy like there was a lot of lies from the enemy coming you know there's a lot of doubts that's that we're trying to keep in but to be a man or a woman of faith to hold on to the promise to believe the truth and to fight the lies that tried to creep in and believe what God wants to do and it was such a it was such an even corporate victory for our community for you know the people that we do life with because we've been believing and praying together and it was as if we stepped into a promised land when we enter in, when we got into this house like we're like we're in our inheritance we're in a place that God's prepared for us and now the fight's not over like this is one thing as well you know we, we've been in the house for like a week or so already and uh, one thing that like the attacks are still coming the doubts are still coming not about the house but just about just in in the store line you know because this is what the children of Israel had to fight too. like they had to believe that w what God said about the promised land when they got into the promised land they had to believe that they were going to take the territory, that they could fight those giants and, and kill them and take ground. And this is what God is calling us to do, to be a men and women of faith that take ground and, and not, not, just, not just take ground, but establish the kingdom of heaven in the ground, in the territory that God gives us. And so that's been the journey here. Oh, last last few weeks. And so I just wanted to share that victory story with you guys. And so in conclusion, in all of this, like my heart is so awakened and so set to live in the miraculous. Like guys, we live and serve an unlimited God with unlimited resources. He's able to do the impossible. Uh, and what he speaks is every every promise is yes and amen. And he wants us to be a people of faith that's, that's able to stand on everything that he's promised and to take it to receive it by faith as we enter into his rest and so guys be encouraged anything is possible to those who believe but faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of God so what is God saying put all your chips in that basket and you will see God break out um, I know I'm behind a, a wooden fence here um, but I'll show you the house in in another in another shot um, here soon so thank you guys for watching thanks guys for you know tuning in and uh excited for what how god's gonna break out in my city and in your city yeah if you're not subscribed to the channel if you're not subscribed you know click the bell click the subscribe below join us on the journey of faith as we take cities for jesus disciple generation and see god's kingdom come Love you guys. Peace.